All right, y'all. This is a film I took May 29, 2016. There's a piece of my new land. I've been checking my trail camera. It's been out for a week, and man, the activity that's just been out there has been just tremendous. I was blessed to go out yesterday and actually try to get some film. Um, caught three on film. I actually seen four, though. Uh, I even pulled out the doublet. You'll see later on in the video. Um, she responded to it really well, but uh, y'all just stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what my evening was like. last week there was deer at my corn bone and uh, today evening and throughout the day and all all that night well it's not deer season out here in South Carolina yet but I've been starting to want to film my hunts so I figured if I come out here this evening uh, I could try to get some on camera and you know just practice you know before the full hunt season gets or hunt season don't get here too August 15th, but, um, you know, stay tuned and I'll see if I can't bring you some, um, bring you some footage. All right, y'all. As you'll be able to see, this is the first one that came out. Um, came out around 6:30ish. Uh, he just came out, basically got him some water, and came to the corn pile, nibbled on some corn, and um, made his way back on where he came from. He didn't stay long.
All right, y'all, just to, uh, just so y'all know, you'll hear some dogs barking. Them dogs are about 60 yards away. Um, that's the actual people that gave me permission. That's their dogs. They ain't no hunting dog, just yard dogs. Just don't bother the deer. and the off season once again. All right, y'all, if y'all watch this doe, you'll actually see her keep looking in the woods. Um, needless to say, um, I didn't know what was going on, but later on in the video, you'll see there was a, uh, another deer in the, uh, in the background, y'all see.
All right, y'all. This is the part I was telling you about when I when um uh, I was started using the dough bleed. As you see, she's leaving. Um, I figured since it was still early season and stuff like that, I figured if I get a dough bleed, um, just to play around with them. It's not hunt season yet. Just see how she reacts. So, um, you'll see in a minute how she reacts. <laughs> All right, y'all. When you uh, as you see how she's eating corn, she'll uh, she'll lift her head up and she'll look over there in the woods. Um, uh, never did I think it was another deer over there, but uh, you know, the longer I watch her, the more I think there's something over there. Okay guys, on this next part, this is the first attempt I try to use the doe bleed and uh, you're at, as you'll see, remember how she kept looking over there in the woods? Well, I never seen this other doe over here, but if you watch, um, you'll see another doe come in the picture.
two deer out there, one just went that one that was eating at the quad box just went into the thicket. There's another one that came right up that I didn't even see. There she is right here. I'll try to zoom in on you so I can see her. Okay, y'all, as she's making her way to that corn pile, when she gets to it and puts her head down, you hear me do a doe bleat, and you'll see her look straight in my direction. But she don't, she don't move, she don't run or anything. She just waits a little while and continues eating. Okay guys, on this next part, you'll see how she's walking away from me. Uh, that's her final chance she looks at me right there. From here on up, she heads up the hill. But as she goes up there and she's completely got her back to me, you'll hear me hit the doe bleat two times. One, she ignores it. The second time, she goes behind a tree and turns directly around and starts heading to me. Alright guys, on this next part I had to take it off my camera arm because she was coming right to me and unfortunately as I'm turning, uh, you'll hear my leg slip on the tree climber and she hears it and she jumps in the woods. Okay, guys, this is the part my foot has slipped. She, as she's coming to the side of me, I, you know, my camera arm won't reach over there, and that's when my foot slips. She don't go far, y'all. She goes maybe 
10 yards in there she stops I hear her still walking around it just has spooked her and uh, you know she goes in there and just just keeps on walking that didn't bother her just spooked her is all it did but uh, you know to actually bring her in and respond to that doe boot like that that was kind of cool um, never experienced that before especially on the off season or even that early but uh, it was a blessing to have that uh, that encounter right there yard 10 yard shot if it was hunting season all right y'all well i hope you enjoyed my little video there i had put together for y'all um that was actually my first time ever going out on this property that i just got granted permission to hunt this upcoming deer season y'all uh, a lot of pictures on my trail camera that's what made me decide to come out today and actually uh, see if i can get some good footage um as always y'all remember the good lord and everything you do remember to put him first without him nothing's possible y'all um, I hopefully bring y'all some good footage this upcoming 2016 deer season. Um, I've been seeing a lot of action back there on the cameras, guys, just in the week that they've been back there. Um, I'll try to bring y'all as much videos as I can, y'all. Once again, I'm no professional at this. I don't mean to be. Uh, I just try my best to actually bring y'all the best I can with, uh, you know, what I got. But until next time, y'all, appreciate y'all watching. Um, if you like my video, like it. If you're not subscribed to me yet, I'm planning on putting some more videos. I'm just starting out, so y'all hang with me, and I'll try to get y'all some more videos up there. And uh, always remember, guys, always put God first. Without Him, nothing's possible. Um, until next time, y'all, catch y'all later. Y'all be good and be safe. God bless y'all.